Good morning everyone, Bob here, Overland Citrus. We're back at the garage again. It's kind of a usual Sunday morning thing. A few people come down here and we work on some stuff. I got a little project I'm going to do on my Jeep today. Um, so I got some wire connectors, some cable ties, and a little bit of 10 gauge wire and some 16 gauge wire. And what we're going to do is I had mounted my compressor underneath this shelf with the air tank uh, a while back and I put the control switch and the gauge in a little far thinking it would be out of the way but it's really not working out so I'm going to move it forward I'm going to have to extend the wires a little bit move it forward here so that you can see it uh, at night and you don't have to look under because now the way it is when this is closed you got to kind of look under and find the switch it's a little inconvenient I don't know what I was thinking when I did that but we're going to rectify that problem so stay tuned okay we're back uh, listen I just want to say got my handy tool roll out anybody that's got any kind of truck or a Jeep this tool roll is probably the best thing I've ever bought I mean it holds a lot of tools it rolls up tuck it away it doesn't rattle very nice so what I did is I just unmounted it swung up my shelf and then I got my 12 volt tester out I just want to see which one of those wires is hot so now we know the bottom wire is hot so that's the wire we're going to have to be careful I have a disconnect right here so I'm just going to disconnect that and take that off and I'm going to get the camera here and I'm going to come up closer and show you guys what that looks like up close. And you can see. And we're going to clean that wire mess up a little bit. I'm not really happy with the way that looks. Uh, so stay there and uh, we'll get some more video going in a minute. Okay, so what we did is move the gauge out front drilled a couple holes, little pilot holes, put some self-tapping screws in there and that ain't going anywhere and that's a lot easier. Now I can just come up and hit it and it's going to work a lot better. The gauge lights up at night, just a better spot. I wasn't sure when I first put it in if I was going to keep this shelf, change this around and maybe um, put my ARB refrigerator in here but I think uh, we're stressing the go towards leaning towards getting a trailer an off-road trailer uh, we can store more stuff that way and then if we're out camp somewhere and we want to take off in the Jeep uh, we can do it so I think we're going to keep customizing this setup that we have now maybe put a couple more cases up here I've seen some nice hard cases that we can put kitchen gear in uh, and maybe change it around so that's why I decided to move this it might be in the way for some people but it's very convenient for me Okay everyone, now we got a heat gun and we used all crimped heat shrink connectors. We're just going to heat them up with the heat gun, shrink that around that so they'll never come out. Then we're going to tie all those wires up a lot neater than they were the first time and get everything back in action and we'll be ready to go. So we're just going to turn this on, we're just going to go in there and heat that up. That'll shrink right around that. And I'm sorry if I can't give you a close-up picture of what's going on. Uh, I'm, I'm working alone today and I just don't have anybody to run the camera so I got it mounted on a tripod and uh, that's about it. But just a little demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink all those up, tie those wires up and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so we got everything in. We got it cleaned up. It's best we can get that wire and clean up. Maybe could have put some wire loom over that, but it, it's tucked up in there and nothing gets in its way. So we're all set with that. Now that just falls down. And now you can't see the compressor, but you can definitely see that switch. You just hit that lights up. And it's a lot better set up there. So everyone have a great day. Enjoy the weather. And we'll see you next time.